A year ago, the dream of what's possible was rejuvenated by six women who came together to earn an Olympic silver medal. And by one Texas teenager who proved that no dream is too big. Tonight, we begin to answer the question, who's next? This was supposed to be Alicia Sacramoni's time, but the beam didn't know that. Yana Beaker got here with consistency and power and with trademark moves that set her apart. Everything about Nastya Liukin's story says that she is the chosen one. And last night, she looked the part until one unexpected misstep proved that nothing comes easy. Most expected Chelsea Memel would have moved on, gone back to a normal life. But Chelsea's ride has been anything but normal. Two years ago, she went from alternate to world champion. But there's something nagging at Chelsea. Because when the Athens team was chosen, she was left aside. Now it's one step at a time. And this could be her biggest step to never being overlooked again. Last night, she grabbed the lead with performances that left no doubt. It's a night they'll remember forever. A night when one of these four women will become the United States national champion. We're at Conseco Fieldhouse in Indianapolis, Indiana for the final night of the 2005 Visa National Championships. Al Troutwick along with Tim Daggett, Elfie Schlegel, and Andrea Joyce. And Chelsea Memel has the lead after the first night. In 2003, she was the member of the gold medal winning United States team at the World Championships. Left off the Athens Olympic team. Now she's grabbing a little extra glory, or at least in the process of. Standing in her way, the presence of Nastia Liukin with her gold medal winning dad and coach, Valerie Liukin, who won that gold medal for the Soviet Union. Then there's Alicia Sacramoni, a lot like Chelsea Memel, left off the Athens Olympic team when she made a late charge and looked like she was headed toward the Olympics. Now she is also hanging on and is part of the picture. Then there's Jana Bieger. Her mom represented Germany in the Olympic Games, and now at the age of 16, she tries to do the same thing for the United States with her mom as her coach but it's an odd year on the gymnastics calendar. The Olympics seem so far away. Nastia Liukin stumbled badly on the balance beam in night one, and now she's trying to still recover from that from Lance Armstrong's hometown of Plano, Texas. And mom, a world champion in rhythmic gymnastics, she can't bear to watch. After warm-ups, she's out of the building. And you know, Al, it was so unusual to see Nastia stumble in night one. She has been nearly flawless in competition for the past couple of years. Especially, uh, Tim, on one of her better apparatus, and this, of course, being exquisite. She works the uneven bars with such perfect form and amplitude. Look at all of these moves that she's doing on the high bar. Perfect handstand positions. Totally extended shoulders, and she flies high right here. Beautiful release move. Watch how it's so elegant from the high bar down to the low bar. Beautiful rhythm throughout the exercise. And on night one, she scored a 9.75, and this looks to be a score that will be right up there. The only child of two champions from the same gym as Carly Patterson, the Athens gold medalist in the all-around. It all seems too perfect. Yeah, it really does. She has, she has so many things going in her favor. It's almost a little bit scary, to be perfectly honest. On uneven bars, though, you can't get any better than this beautiful extension. A lot of athletes will do that move, Al, but no one will make it look like that. 
Ignacio Liukin is heavily rewarded with a 9.766. Alicia Sacramoni. She stumbled early on the balance beam from Winchester, Massachusetts, and then just came roaring back in the next three events. And now we'll see if she can keep it going. And she'll be starting on what is considered one of her best events. She'll have to contend with balance beam at the end of the competition. But for now, check out the power and explosiveness of her tumbling. Alicia Sacramoni, find any faults there? Wow, that was awesome. I don't think I've ever seen her look so sure of herself. Her tumbling was absolutely awesome. It, every landing, perfect. Every landing was great. The super power, but also she really sells it from start to finish. It, it was a great, great exercise. Her coach, Mihai, told me right before the competition, way better for Alicia to start out on floor than on balance beam. He thought it'd be a much better evening. What's so incredible about her tumbling is that she makes it look so easy. This was one of her, her third tumbling pass, two and a half twist, a front layout, but it's this tumbling pass that was so impressive. It comes at the end of the routine. It's a triple twist. What she does so well, she completes it and then has time to come down and land. Yeah, nobody does it like that. Especially at the end of her team, nobody does it. Hey, get out of here. They just gave her a 9.9. I like it. Awesome. <laughs> I thought those days were over. Good for them. It's about time, yeah. A 9.9 .9 from and the judges for Alicia Sacramoni. <laughs> and judge number two, Lucy Wiener Fox gives a 995, that's as close to perfection as she can award. She did the right thing, can't remember the last time I saw a score that high. Now Yana Beeger, she has been so consistent. And Al, she looks like she's been competing in the senior division for years already. One thing that is so impressive is her tumbling in this routine. It's equally as difficult as Alicia Sacramoni. Mom for coach.
Wow, no problems there. And you know, I talked to their mom right before the meet began and she was very worried because this is the first meet that Yana is competing in at the senior level where she doesn't get a warm up immediately prior to the event. It's something new they're doing in gymnastics now at some of the major competitions, but she handled it without any problems at all. Now to the uneven bars and Chelsea Memo. It was a badly timed foot injury that set her back with her chance to go to Athens and represent the United States in 2004. Now here she is leading the competition. And quite happy to be starting the competition on this event, Al. She scored a huge score, 9666 in the first day of competition. She's capable of going much higher. Not only was she world champion in 2003 on this event, but the next big meet after the Olympic Games, the World Cup final, she won again because of moves like this right here into her dismount. No cracks in Chelsea Memo's game, just rock solid. Really, this competition is Chelsea's to win or lose. If she goes cleanly on the next three events, there's your national champion right there. And you know, Tim, she told us before the competition that she just wants everyone to get away from the stereotype of her being an event specialist on bars and beam. She wants to be known as an all-around gymnast again. Chelsea Memo score a 9.666, so she repeats. And likes what she's done. Meanwhile, Yana Beeger gets a 9.316 on floor exercise. So everybody is hitting so far at the 2005 Visa National Championships. Well, so far, it's been all about Chelsea Memel. She closes her eyes, almost wants to take it all in and relax. She is the leader in the national championships after one event, three more to come, and her lead remains almost eight-tenths over Nasia Liukin and Yana Bieger and then Alicia Sacramoni. Good crowd at Conseco Fieldhouse in Indianapolis, Indiana. And now it's up to uh, Alicia Sacramoni to keep things going. And she certainly can do that here on vault. She also, like Chelsea Memo, is the World Cup champion on this event. She defeated Olympic champion Monica Rosu of Romania right after the Olympic Games. And she does it because she is not just dynamic, not just powerful, but absolute perfect form in the air and huge distance from the table. <laughs> it's one of the things that her coach Miha is trying to control. He says she always gives a little bit too much, a little bit extra on that vault, a huge Yurchenko double twist. Yeah, it's funny, you, you hear him all the time saying easy, easy, conservative, words you never hear coming out of a coach. But, but you should let her, she should listen to him, especially on a vault like this, because she has way too much energy. Yeah, most athletes, they, they can't even get that around, and she's got so much power, she just bounds out of the landing. Now, Nastia Liukin. On the line here in Indianapolis, obviously the prestige of winning a national championship and taking the next step toward an Olympic dream. But the World Championships later this year. Now, Nastia Liukin has to overcome this, this bad misstep on the balance beam night one. It left everyone gasping, including her coach and dad, because that was so close to becoming something much more serious. See that foot, it just misses the beam, just catches it a little bit and then slides off that very dangerous. Her dad told me before the meet began that she heard the bell at the end of the routine and got a little bit rushed, no didn't rattled. take time to set up. You know what's remarkable is that she actually had the one leg on the beam and got enough of that twist in that she really didn't land that badly. She's a very young, lucky young lady. <laughs> Valeri Liukin told us yesterday that he thought maybe Nastia has had a little too much winning 
boy, she's certainly done a lot of that. And a, a little adversity, you know, might not be so bad. You'll get to see trademark Nastia Lukin on this event. Beautiful long lines and perfect form. What also sets her apart on balance beam from most of the other competitors is her rhythm, the way she works in and out of her dance elements right into her acrobatic skills. Sometimes you don't even know that something difficult is coming up. She's very smooth. She had problems with that move right there, night one, not so today. Do a leap sequence here and watch the amplitude that she shows. Beautiful extension, huge positions. Just one skill left the dismount. So Larry said she has to come over the top on the round off, make sure she gets both of those feet down. No problems. That's impressive. It's got a lot of ways that, that teaches her a heck of a lot. Coming back from having that problem. No sign whatsoever there. That was great. Well, a totally different focus from start to finish, ending with this triple twist. That's the way you want to do it. Both feet down on the beam, perhaps just a little bit shy of the triple twist, but she'll take that. 9.8 for Nastia Liukin. So the pressure builds and the comeback continues. We'll see how Chelsea Memel handles it all. So far, the 2005 Visa National Championships have been a story about four women. Nastia Liukin, back-to-back -back junior national championships. Chelsea Memel, a world championship gold medalist. Yana Beeger, coming out of the junior division as well. She's part of the top four, and so is Alicia Sacramoni. We've seen some unbelievable scores. A 9-8 for Liukin just moments ago. A 9-9 for Sacramoni on floor exercise. Beeger's trying to keep up. And that'll be hard for her. She does a vault that only starts from a 9.7. But you know, she does it as well as she can, even though it's a 9.7. She's clean, she has lots of height, just the one big step on the landing. Just comparing it to the 9.8 that we just saw from Nastia Lukin and Sacramoni's 9.9. .9. This is a nice vault, like you said, Elf. Just that step forward and almost goes over that line. If she does, she'll incur another deduction. Donna Beeger gets a 9.483. Halfway. <laughs> the rest. <laughs> Chelsea Memel's done a lot of eye closing, sort of taking a deep breath, trying to relax. She's on the balance beam. Halfway. After the rest. And like two other gymnasts in this Fab Four that we're dealing with here in this Visa National Championships, coached by her dad. And you know what's interesting when she was going through all those decisions about what am I going to do after the Olympic Games? And she sort of came to a conclusion that she needed to make a switch in gyms. And she came up to her dad and she said, Dad, I want to switch gyms. And he said, OK, where am I going to send you? And she said, I, I'd like you to coach me. And he said it really shocked him. He was quite flattered and he's happy to have her home. But she has looked so composed through these championships. Nothing seems to bother her. Even Coach Valeri Liukin said she's just all there all the time. First big acrobatic skill front with a half and not even close. That is the first major mistake made by Chelsea Memel. 
And you know, this routine is just stocked with difficulty. She has got some incredible difficulty, very, very serious individual skills that are high value. Right here, Arabian, that's solid. Boy, these championships though, on the balance beam, it's just been brutal. Three of the four of our top athletes all having major falls on the beam. Another slight little balance check. And there and again. Another one. I said earlier it was Chelsea's to win or lose, and that ball, it's a mandatory 5 tenth deduction. She's had a few more wobbles. It's going to be really close. Between her and Nastia Lukin. Whoa. And another stab. Yeah, another day on balance being really not characteristic of the style that she's typically can typically perform on this event. So little that can be said. For as good as Liukin is, I think everybody in that memo camp knows what just happened. You know, I mentioned that she has such a high skill value on this event, and that's a really tough element. Remember, four inches, and you know, you don't have a lot of room to play with. Yeah, if shoulders and hips aren't directly over the beam, both in the air and as those feet are hitting, there's just no way. And that one, she couldn't even fight for that. It's just way too off. You see the shoulders off to the right-hand side, and no way, no way. Her national championship hopes take a major hit, an 8.8 .8 for Chelsea Memel. Now the big question is, what does Nasia Liukin do with this opportunity? And that's what it really is. An unfortunate mishap for one gymnast becomes an opportunity for another. They were some of the stars of the Athens Olympics. Just about a year ago, the men and the women that represented the United States both earned silver medals. Paul Hom took the all-around gold, and Carly Patterson did likewise. And here in Indianapolis this week, they were honored with an ovation here at these Visa National Championships. And we go down to the floor for Andrea Joyce and Carly Patterson. Carly, it's been just about a year since you won the Olympic all-around title. It seems like this last year has just flown by. What have the last 12 months been like for you? Yes, Andrea, it definitely has flown by for me. It seems like the Olympics was never going to get here, and then a year has flown by already. It's crazy. But you've been running around all over the country, right? I've been so many places. It's such a blur. I've been to camps and just appearances and everything. And you're also nursing a back injury, but where is your head right now? Do you think you'll compete again? Right now I'm just resting, like you said, my back. Um, I'm actually starting to get in shape because I have a show in October, so if everything feels good, you know, and I start training again, hopefully that'll be the case and we'll see how it goes. There's been a lot of talk around here about one of your pals, Nastia Liukin. You guys have grown up together in the gym. What do you like about her gymnastics? Her gymnastics is just beautiful. She has the lines, the technique, the form, the dance. She has everything, so she's awesome. A lot of folks would love to see the two of you out there competing together, so best of luck whatever you decide to do. <laughs> Thank you. All right, Al? Well, Andrea, is there anything that makes you feel like a year is like <laughs> so long when you look at the gymnasts from the Olympics a year later, you think in our yeah. world it feels like we were just there in Athens. But let's talk about this race as it shapes up right now. It certainly looks as though with the major mistake by Memo that sort of evens things with Liukin right now, it's going to be those two battling for the national championship. Yeah, no question. It looks like we're going to be at a dead heat just about going into the last two events, and they're pretty equally matched on the two events that they have to do at this point in time. I tell you, though, Chelsea, from the beginning, beginning of this competition looked like nothing rattled her, but 
you know, it's the balance beam. It's four inches wide. Anything can happen. It always feels like it comes down to what you do or don't <laughs> do on the balance beam. Now you have Yana Beeger, who has been as consistent yep. as can be, and Alicia Sacramoni battling maybe to be on the podium. Yeah, and what's crazy is uh, Yana Beeger has been competing like a senior, like she's been here already for three years. And Alicia Sacramoni, she's already unveiled her two best events. So what I see coming into the long run, the last two events, I think Yana Beeger has got a slight edge because she is a true all-around gymnast. So right now, the standings put Nastia Liukin in front by a little bit more than two tenths over Chelsea Memel, and then it's Alicia Sacramoni who has about a tenth of an edge over Yana Beeger. Memel's got to be thinking about what happened in the past, and that's the kind of thing you can't do. She's got to be focusing on what's ahead, and for her next, it's the floor exercise. Meanwhile, backstage here at the Conseco Fieldhouse, you have to think that Nastia Liukin knows that she was just given back a major chance now to win this national championship that everybody thinks she was destined to win. There's no question about it. I don't think she could have won. Didn't even have a shot unless Memel had a major fall. She gave her that opportunity. Yana Beeger trying to get onto the podium at these national championships. A lot like Nastia Liukin. This is her senior debut. And she's hit everything. She's been so consistent. You mentioned that, Al. And what's so impressive is we've been watching her all week in practice and this competition. I mean, she's so unfazed by what's around her, the large crowd, the television cameras. She's just doing her thing. Like you said, Al, she's got gymnastics DNA running through her, her body. Mom, an Olympian herself. You know what? Elfie just stated, I, I don't think could be overstated. This, this entire experience, you can't duplicate it in a the gym. There's no way. And you guys have talked to me about gymnasts who have absolutely crumbled and been unable to compete with the lights and the fans and the cameras and all the new stuff. That's exactly right. You cannot teach this. You cannot take from the training gym and always bring it onto the competition floor. This is unique. This is special. And she exemplifies that on that landing. Another gymnast that wasn't as experienced, that wasn't as composed, would have taken a quick small step. But she's calm, she's relaxed, she thinks things through. This dismount, it's a full twisting double somersault, and watch when she lands, she's a little bit off balance. And like I said, uh, another athlete would have just taken a step there, but she takes her time and sticks it cold. She's the kind of gymnast or athlete that you could easily envision being on your Olympic or championship team because she's so solid. 9-5-6-6. Yana Beeger puts up another very strong score. Now, what's Chelsea Memel's response to the balance beam and the score of 8.8? .8. I'd have to think that being on floor exercise is a good thing for her mentally. Well, it is, and she really has, we've seen some tremendous athletes on floor, and she does a lot of very difficult tumbling runs. She's capable of bringing in a, an absolute huge number here, but once again, at this point, trailing by over two tenths of a point, she's gonna need a little bit of help from Nastia Lucan. And second, of course, is eyes coming to action, Chelsea Memel. Oh, Chelsea! Dangerously close to that white. Her feet hits the white, it's a tenth of a point off.
size, but I think if the judges want to be picky, there's just a couple of little areas and two of the tumbling passes where they, they could take a small deduction. Way to go. Very difficult tumbling run. She'll do two whip backs into what's called an Arabian double somersault. What makes this so tricky is it's a blind landing. Can't see where those feet are coming down and she is oh so dangerously close to that white part of the carpet. Desperate to catch her breath. Chelsea Memel gets a 9.433. And that's just not the kind of big score she needed to put a dent in what is now the lead for Nastia Liukin. There with her gold medal winning dad and coach, she prepares for floor exercise and that's to come. She can close this out now. That's got to be coming a realistic thought in her mind. Back with the Visa National Championships, Alicia Sacramoni started off her night with a 9.9. .9. Tim Daggett and Elfie Schlegel can't remember the last time they saw a score that high. And now she's on the uneven bars. A little bit different here. Yeah, this is not Alicia's best event. She really has, has struggled her whole career on the uneven bars and really worked hard to be an all-around gymnast. But you see right there, that's going to cost her quite a bit. She actually scored an 8.75 on the first night, and I think she was pretty pleased with the performance, but that just gives you an idea of she has a low start value. Is, she this, is this going to be that low? I, I yeah. would say it's going to be lower than that, actually. It's, it's, not, it's not where she brings value to the U.S. team. She truly is world class, no question, on vaulting, also on floor exercise and beam. If she hits, she's capable, but she is not a bar worker. Yeah, this is a hard, hard event for her. So she started uneven on the balance beam and then came roaring back in night one. Started with a 9-9 nine, nine and really looked like she, she could start thinking about being on the podium. Top three here at the national championships, but that's going to hurt. That's going to hurt. Now, Nasia Liukin, what a night. 9 7 6, six 9 8. Forget about what happened on the balance beam in night one. She's got the lead. She's on floor exercise. She just has to avoid major mistakes. And I really don't know what she's planning on doing. She faltered a little bit in night one on floor, but didn't really fall apart. Does a lot of twisting in this exercise. And she's done some rearranging of her routine. This is typically her second tumbling pass. She's used it in the first. She certainly is not going to make this easy for Chelsea Memo, that's for sure. That will easily, I would say, extend her lead. <laughs> and even though she's rearranged the floor exercise routine and the tumbling passes, it's really not going to make a difference in her overall score. Why would she do that, Elfie? 
I think they just wanted to come up with something that was going to make her feel more comfortable about tonight's competition. She's actually capable of doing a quadruple twist. That was only three. 9.6. One more routine like that, and Nastia Liukin is the next national champion. So the leader in the Visa National Championships is Nastia Liukin. And it feels weird to say it because it seems as though that's what we were saying before this event even started. That she would be the national champion. Chelsea Memo watched it all go wrong on the balance beam. And there's probably no consoling her now. So here are the standings. Liukin has a lead four tenths. I mean, you're, you're talking about the need for Liukin to make a major mistake and then Memo to take advantage of it. Yana Beaker and then Alicia Sacramoni. And Sacramoni, after what happened on the uneven bars, isn't thinking about the podium any longer. This is going to be a major changing of the guard, as we might have thought, with none of the Olympians coming back. Well, if she goes cleanly through this exercise, she is the only athlete of the top four to do what every single one of them tells us before the meet begins. They want to go eight for eight. And a big skill for her right here, blind landing. Oh, God. And you know, that's just as devastating as a oh. fall, putting your hands down. So it's the same deduction. That'll be about five tenths of a point. And here, it's signature move. Oh. Did you touch? I think so, yeah. This is, boy, she made it all the way through to the last event. First, balance, balance beam again. Yep, first event as a as a senior. Looked like she's been here a million times. And she's looked that way in practice as well. Every day, the same, just the same, consistent. Yeah, I've been amazed at, at how, how great she has looked. She had a very serious injury about 10 months ago, dislocated her kneecap and had surgery on that, rehabilitated, and to look this great all the way through, quite a testament to her. This is a very difficult dismount she has planned. It's a double front, blind landing. She takes a lot of risk throughout the entire routine, but especially on this dismount. Dislocated kneecap. Okay. Yeah, well enough okay. to pull right. off that. A lot to be proud of, though. In many, many ways, did a tremendous job. First time senior. I mean, this was the only flaw in the competition was this front with a half just a little bit off, maybe could have saved it. She tried. Same skill we saw Chelsea Memo fall on earlier in the evening. So all four of the top athletes take a fall on balance beam at these championships. Amazing. And yet you have to think, and Marta Caroli has not been very visible at these national championships as she watches and prepares for the world championships later this year and who she'd like to see on the team. You've got to figure, Yana Bieger is part of the picture. Now, what does Chelsea Memel finish up with? Well, she does a double twisting, laid out your chanko, 9-8 start. Liukin does a 9-7 start. Here it is. And that's a much better vault from night one. More powerful. <laughs> Wait, the rocket. Wow. Good girl. Way to do it, honey. Way to finish out. Good girl. Wow. Yeah. Good girl. Well, I asked you the one thing. Neither. <laughs> Good girl. Thanks. Good girl. You can tell in her body language. She knows the math. Girls, boys. These athletes have become much closer. They train monthly together down at the ranch in Texas at the National Training Center. This is a nice vault, but Little bit of form in the air, and this right here, the big step on the landing. She has a one-tenth advantage over Nastia Lukin on this event, start-wise. But that big step on the landing, if she'd have stuck it, put a little bit more pressure on Nastia. 
Nine five one six from Memel. She finishes in the same squad with Nastia Liukin, meaning they can eyeball each other and see exactly what's going on. But Nastia Liukin needs only to do better than a nine point one one six, and that's simple. What? <laughs> Very simple for her. And as Tim mentioned, the vault that she's performing is out of a nine point seven. She'd have to fall down on the runway to not have this happen. He stumbled early and roared back late. And destiny comes true for Nastia Liukin. Absolutely gorgeous. The 2005 U.S. National Champion. That stumble on the balance beam is now ancient history. Fighter. Yes, she is a fighter. Chelsea Memel has to know what happened on the balance beam. She's a veteran, been through this. She knows exactly what happened. But going from junior national champion to senior national champion in one year, there have been some great ones that have done that. One, an Olympic champion, Carly Patterson, her teammate. 9.483, more than enough cushion. Good girl. There's Chelsea Memple's dad and Nastia's own dad. Chelsea Nastia. Congrats. I'm good too. Congrats, good job. You just so well. And we showed you that picture yesterday of Nastia walking into the gym down in Plano, Texas, and every time looking up at the picture of Carly Patterson, and now they can put a picture of her up on there too. So Liukin, Memel, and Beeger on the podium as we go down to Andrea Joyce. First senior nationals, and she takes home the big prize. Nasia, congratulations. Tell me what it was like out there battling your way back tonight from third to win this title. Um, well, I didn't really think about, you know, trying to get first place, but of course that would be great, and it is great. But um, I just try to focus on doing my routines like I do in practice, you know, and just trying to hit four for four tonight. Valerie, there was a little bit of that slip on the beam in day one. What about that adversity? Is that maybe a blessing in disguise sometimes when someone has so much success like Nastia? Well, yeah, well, lately people talk about her a little too much, I think. You know, she's just a gymnast, and that's how we've taken it, you know. And uh, accidents happen, and it happened to everybody. And that was one of, it, it's not a mistake, that was pure accident. Did you know something like that was going to happen eventually? I mean, she's had so much success. Absolutely. It's going to happen sooner or later with everybody. We're not machines. We're just a human being. And what did you learn from all of that, from that experience? Did you learn something about yourself as a competitor? Um, yeah, definitely. You know, national is um, it's a two-day competition. So after the first day, if you have a little mistake, you can never give up. And even when you feel like, you know, it's all over, it's, it's never over, you know? So just keep fighting your way through it. Well, you did it. Congratulations. Thank you. So it's an American national championship with a Russian accent and a modern tone as well. When things were done, Nastia's mom was on the receiving end of a text message. Remember, she can't bear to watch her daughter in competition. Hey, mom, I won. How's that for 2005?